Now, people have gotten really mad, and I want you to hear me. I understand this. We have a lot of people who watch who are not conservative, and we appreciate who are libertarians, who are anti-social justice warrior, who are anti-authoritarian, but are not right-wing, and I appreciate you, and I definitely want you to stay here and have a dialogue. But I'm not going to pander to you like a lot of other people out there. I know there are winning issues like guns and free speech and feminism, and we can talk about that. And I know you get really mad when I do the Bernie Sanders thing, but you need to understand something. Economic authoritarianism is still authoritarianism. I wrote about this, that Hitler, what do we hear about Hitler? He was super right wing, right wing, right wing. Nazi stands for National Socialist German Workers Party. Okay. So put that in your back pocket. Now, let me get to something people will say. I know what you're going to say. National socialism, not democratic socialism like Bernie Sanders. There's a huge, one is fascism right wing, one is not. They're both socialism. Democratic socialism always becomes national, nationalistic socialism. By definition, it has to. Why? Okay. The United States is not a democracy. You throw around the term democratic as though it's, it's noble. Um, no. We're a constitutional representative republic. Why? That's important to know. It's important to know we're not a democracy. That's because democracy is mob rule. The reason the United States was framed as a constitutional representative republic is to make sure that the rights of the minority are still protected from the majority. Otherwise, the majority can just vote and screw the minority. You're, you're more liberal. You should be on board with that. Democracy by definition, would inherently bad, be bad for minorities. So, am I saying Bernie Sanders is like Hitler? No, but the ideology is the ideology that lends itself toward authoritarianism and fascism because of an increased expansion of the state. Hitler promised employment for all. Of course, was a self-avowed socialist. Innovative public work schemes uh, gave workers increased benefits. He increased jobs by increasing the state not allowing wages to rise with prices because he wanted people working for the government. He ensured everyone had a job. Big education, free daycare. You had basically an entire generation who were raised by the state. Nationalized health care, uh, up to an 80% tax. Uh, gun control, of course, implemented gun control. Abortion was radically pro-abortion. Blaming on the 1%. Back then, the 1% were Jews. None of these things are right-wing. None of these things are libertarian or conservative. So... Let's get through. If you go policy for policy, there's nothing about him that's right wing or conservative other than the fact that you're going to try and attribute racism to conservatism because that's what you've been taught to do by your college professor. Now, why is this so important? Going back to representative uh, government. Well, Hitler used the idea of democracy, mob rule, to infringe on the rights of the minority. How do we feel about the rich Jews, the, the rich lying Jews, 1%? Let's have a vote. <laughs> Kill the Judens. The majority, Germans, Germans. It's democratic and it's nationalistic. They believe Germany was for, for, the, for the true Germans, not for the Jews. Democracy, nationalism, either way. Mob rule, the nationalists win. That's the whole point. And they infringe on the rights of the minorities. Now, I want you to take that and change it for one second. Take Jews, switch it to the wealthy. Because the Jews were the 1%. This, I have these numbers here. Jews in Germany made up less than 1%. They, they use that a lot, the 1% rhetoric. Change Germans to working class. You have an economic version of exactly the same thing. Am I saying the working class wants to haul uh, millionaires, small business owners into gas chambers? No. What I'm saying is that's what democratic socialism is. Mob rule. Mob rule Germans against the Jews. Minorities lose their rights. Mob rule Bernie Sanders. Mob rule democratic socialism as opposed to national socialism. Mob rule working class takes the rights of the wealthy in an economic way, while simultaneously, just like Hitler, expanding the state, free school, bigger government, cracking down on businesses, so more people go to public school, raise their kids in public daycare, work for the government, and you remove the, uh, the, the, the power from the private sector, putting it to the government. Here's the deal, I don't have that much faith in government. The idea that Hitler was right-wing, no. He was a very, very emphatic, liberal, big government socialist. Undeniable. Wir wollen ein Volk sein und ihr, meine Jugend, sollt dieses Volk nun werden. Wir wollen einst keine Klassen und Stände mehr sehen und ihr dürft sie in euch schon nicht mehr groß werden lassen. Wir wollen einst ein Reich sehen 
dass dieses Volk einst Frieden lieben und aber auch tapfer ist. Und ihr müsst friedfertig sein. If you like this video, subscribe by clicking my face or the button above. Or you, oh, it's you. Why don't you have a girlfriend yet?